Exiled former Cabinet Minister Jonathan Moyo has dismissed any chance of Citizens Coalition for Change CCC President Nelson Chamisa unseating ZANU-PF's Emerson Umningogwa and declared Zimbabwe's waning economy a better opposition to the incumbent. Moyo brushed off Chamisa's move not to publicize his party policies, adhere to traditional means of candidate selection and decision to continue without a constitution, described by Chamisa as strategic ambiguity. In picking the economy as a better opposition, Moyo, whose preview of the election was centered on ZANU-PF's triumph, said Umningogwa had the capacity to fix it. Zimbabwe's economy is currently on a decline. Inflation is galloping towards 2008 rates, salaries have remained stagnant and basics are fast getting out of reach of many. In a post touching on the upcoming August elections, CCC's strategy and possibility of protest voters, Moyo said, CCC which styles itself as the main opposition political party in the country and the government in waiting is yet to finalize its candidate selection outcome. The only visible and potentially deadly opposition is coming from the teetering economy, which is approximating a free fall, but which the government can still stabilize, although time running out. The reason for the comatose opposition ahead of the election was perhaps inadvertently given by CCC leader advocate Nelson Chamisa in an interview with Blessed Mlanga on Trevon Cube's online television. HSTV on April 20, 2023 when he said, our biggest thing is what we call strategic ambiguity. The doctrine of making sure that the enemy doesn't know what we are doing. Whether in foreign policy or in politics. Strategic clarity is better than strategic ambiguity, an assured communication disaster. In politics, ambiguity is actually an expression of an unclear ideology, legality, policy. Position, statement, task goal or action of the leadership. There can be many causes of ambiguity or lack of clarity, including incapacity, confusion, ignorance or cluelessness. Chemisa has maintained he will not make public decisions and policies from his party as that had proven to arm rivals and EPF. That, according to Moyo, might confuse his supporters and lead to a ZANU-PF parliamentary win. Added Moyo, while there are still some key unknowns about Zimbabwe's election 2023, one clear known whose writing is on the wall is that the parliamentary election is for ZANU-PF to lose. As yet another two-thirds majority appears to be within the party's reach. Although Chamisa has alienated himself and his CCC from Morgan's Vangelai's traditional MDC base, and while he has lost the 2018 support inspired by the late President Robert Mugabe and by the protest vote he got from ZANU-PF elements who felt hard done by the 2017 military coup. The 2023 presidential election is still likely to be tight due to new protest votes principally fueled by the wobbling economy. Moyo and Chamisa were at one time cozy before CCC's move to disregard his offer of assistance towards elections. Some sections of the opposition were said to have feared his retributive nature and habit of publicizing secrets once things go south.